Welcome to Car Side Reviews. I'm Adam Mullinger, and I have a very simple premise for a show here. I go to a film, I get in my car, and I talk about the movie. Today, Jumanji, I guess three, they're calling it. Let's begin. Full disclosure, I actually saw this movie a couple days ago with my two kids, didn't have a chance to review it, but I had to run out and do some errands, so I thought I'll knock out a couple reviews quick for the ones I, I missed. I have no idea what this thing's getting in terms of review, it calls itself the next level. It's very clear that this is meant to be Jumanji 2, and that Jumanji, the last one, was never meant to be a sequel to the first. They just shoehorned in some loosey-goosey elements and called it a day. Let's just Let's just get that out of the way. This is a reboot, this is Jumanji 2, and that said, it's okay. People were pretty high on the last film, uh, arguably too high on it. I didn't think it was anything really that good. I thought it was fine, it's watchable, it's, it's fun for the family. You move on. You gotta call it a day. My kids liked it more than I did, that's for sure, and they were very excited for this next film. That said, we all left with kind of a meh feeling. My, my kids, actually, uh, my daughter didn't even like it. She's 10. She, she didn't really care for this one. They thought it was very similar to the first. It didn't do enough new stuff. And uh, I'm right there with them. You know, they have good taste. The whole gang's back. Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan, Jack Black, and the teenagers from the first. I don't remember any of their names. Fridge and, and blonde chick and, and uh, nerd guy. They're all in it. They get back into the game again, they're sucked back in, but the twist this time is they're not in the same bodies, or at least almost all of them aren't. The said grandpas are the newcomers in the film, Danny DeVito, Danny Glover, and then you have Aquafina playing a new new character in the game. Aquafina you know, starts out pretty lame, it wasn't huge on her character, until they voice swap around halfway through and she becomes the old Danny DeVito character. She does a far better impression than I thought Dwayne Johnson did. Who, who I thought I liked a lot more as the nerdy character from the first. Jesus, this guy's just blasting me with his beams. Okay, well, you know, it's in the car, it's live. This, well, it's not live, I edit it, but you know, things are happening, things are in motion. Holy shit, dude! What are you doing? Let's just, let's just all just enjoy this together. It, it's like this, the sun is just blasting me. The, his doors are open. What is he? He's getting out of the car. They both shut their car doors and the lights are still going. Why? I, I don't know. Yep. Just walk into the theater. Lights are still on. Holy shit. Now that I've gone partially blind, I will continue on this journey. As I was saying, Aquafina, she becomes more enjoyable as, as the film progresses. She gets to play a fun character. I guess that's the big problem I have with this one, is it was done better last time, the first time around, when when it really felt like the, the script had good ideas and good setups for these characters. Bringing in the two old guys and having Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson kind of, you know, bitch each other out for a good portion of the film just doesn't work. It just wasn't very fun, and it ended up being that kind of si same dichotomy from the first again where they're punching each other, beating each other up, you know, tearing each other down verbally. Eh, it's, it's, it's old hat. There's a lot of dick jokes in this one, like there wasn't the last, where the characters pee, and I guess that means they have, you know, body parts? Usually when you program a video game, you don't even put that in. It's just, it's just nothing down there. But in this one, it's pointed out multiple times. There's a full-blown joke that goes on for a good 30 seconds about, um... <laughs> cutting off, cutting off the balls, and, you know, my kids are both with me, just kind of like, what, what are they talking about? I'm like, don't worry about it. Adult humor used to be more subtle than this, when, when we had family films, there, there would be something for everybody. Here, though, it's very, it's very on the nose, and I guess that's a testament just to, to kind of the crappy writing. Action-wise, uh, I guess it's about the same, too. There's a good blend of animals mixed with just, you know, human versus human fights, uh, I really enjoyed the the monkey scene on the on the rotating bridges. That was cool. It, it does seem like there was a a decent amount of video game elements at least. The problem is they were just kind of the same ones from the last movie. There, there wasn't a lot of uh, creative new tie-ins. What is going on with this car in front of me? Now one of the people is back in the car. They just hit me with the brights a second ago, and they're just sitting there now. Uh, this is just what 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 is going. It's like they don't know. I have an unwritten rule with this theater and every other theater. When I'm in the car making a review, you should respect that. You should respect what's going on in here and, and, and not get in your car and turn on the lights. 
or try to leave or do anything around me. It's disrespectful. I don't think this one had any references to the first film with Robin Williams. They're just done trying at that point. They, they've got everybody hooked, so it's time to move forward. There are plenty of callback jokes to the last movie, uh, such as the cake and some of the music they play, and, and for some reason the dumb dance fighting's back. Um, yeah, otherwise, it, this is just light, light fluffy crap. You can watch at home. You don't need to waste money at the theater and see this unless you're a diehard fan of the last film. There's nothing new here at all. So I would suggest waiting until this one comes home to video, stream it, preferably not even have to waste money renting it. It should go to Netflix or something at some point. So I, I'd wait and stream it at home, preferably for free. Those are my quick thoughts on the movie. Let me know if you saw it in the comments. Maybe you were more impressed than I was or maybe you absolutely hated it. I, I can't imagine that's the case as it really isn't much different than the last one. Thanks for joining me in the car. I hope to see you next time. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video if you liked it, and uh, yeah. We'll see you around.